Michimasa Fujino epitomizes the power of having a dream, and his passion for aviation, his dedication to innovation, and his commitment to Honda look like they're about to pay off. The Edge was lucky enough to be invited to the global headquarters of Honda Aircraft Company, a facility that's manufacturing this, the Honda Jet. A business jet that the designer says can fly higher, faster, and in a more fuel-efficient way than its direct competitors. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you very much. You've been involved in making aircraft for over 25 years. Can you tell me how you initially got involved in making planes for Honda? I joined Honda in uh, 1984, and the uh, first two years I worked on the automobile division, research division. But one day my boss came to me at lunchtime and uh, he told me that you go to the airplane project. In 1986, Fujino was sent to Mississippi in the U.S. on a secret mission to learn how to build a plane from scratch. I was told to go to the United States. Uh, I agreed to my professor, uh, you know, because I go to the United States. But uh, at the time, I couldn't say what was assignment and uh, what I, I was going to do at the time. So my professor still complained that you didn't say you work on the airplane project at the time. At this point, it was still an experimental project. When did it turn into a real project? Yeah, actually, you know, first 10 years, you know, I built two aircraft, but uh, those are purely experimental aircraft. So um, at the time, it's uh, more focus on building infrastructure or building technology to build or design aircraft. A decade passed, and then, in the middle of the night, Fujino had a eureka moment. This is a, my original, you know, sketch, uh, you know, the sketch of the Honda Jet. I draw the. Uh, on the jet concept, backside of the calendar. <laughs> <laughs> and this just came to you in the middle of the night? I, I kind of thought uh, on the jet concept for a long time, and uh, I had some abstract image, and uh, my abstract image turned out to be a very concrete image for on the jet. And that concrete concept is now in the final stages of the U.S. Federal Aviation Authority's complex and lengthy certification process. Final approval is expected in the first quarter of 2015. We're going to go in a chaser plane to see how the Honda Jet actually looks like when it's up in the air. With a wingspan of just over 12 meters, the seven-seater Honda Jet is a personal jet with a difference. Top crew speed, 420 knots, 10% faster than any other aircraft in its class. It's 17% more fuel efficient. Cargo space, 1.8 cubic meters, and a range of 1180 nautical miles. Because it's encased entirely in composites, it's lighter than its direct competitors, even though manufacturing composites is a time-consuming process. If you don't have a very good quality management, it's not consistent, you know, a process. So sometimes we have to experience some of the defect of the bonding or defect of, you know, plies. But at the same time, if you have a very good, you know, quality process, we can make the structure lighter. And also we can prevent corrosion. But what really makes this plane different is the position of the engines, which are for the first time in aviation history mounted on the wings. And to put the engines on top of the wings, yes. is this your biggest discovery? Yeah, I, I think this is a, a true breakthrough technology and clearly innovative you know, technology which distinguish Honda Jet from the other competitors. It would also be a dream come true for Honda's legendary founder, So Ichiro Honda. Mesmerized by the first plane he saw as a child, building and flying one himself became lifelong passion. Fujino had just one chance encounter with the man. If you could tell him now about the Honda Jet, what would you tell Mr. Soichiro Honda? I think if he see Honda Jet, he will be very happy. And uh, also, when I met uh, 
Miss Sach Honda, his wife. Uh, she knows a lot about the airplane, so i kind of impressed. So I asked, you know, are you a pilot? And uh, she said this. Uh, she's the kind of first female pilot in Japan. From the touchscreen cockpit controls to the bespoke Finnish interior, and even a mobile operating system to control the temperature, lights, and shutters, Fujino has overseen every last detail. And his efforts have been recognized. In 2012, he was presented with the Aircraft Design Award, the first Asian to ever win the industry's top recognition for technological innovation. The market for very light jets is still a very young business. How much growth potential do you think there is in that segment? I think in a few years, uh, we, you know, market size will be become 300, and I hope that you know. 2020, you know, it reached the 400 unit per year. So that is my kind of uh, estimation. So far, 100 of Fujino's personal jets have already been ordered. So what's the profile of a person that's splashing out four and a half million dollars on one? Our target is a high net worth individual uh, who owns a mid, small to medium business by themselves. So that is a kind of main target, and uh, most of the customer has also pilot license, so uh, maybe 50% of our customer may be own a pilot, but, and also like a small business owner. Plenty of plane makers have switched to automaking, but none have successfully gone the other way. If Honda can sell cars, motorbikes, and soon planes, it may soon be flying high above the rest. If I could contribute to Honda in some way in the future, that is very honored to be part of it.